Uh, try to turn this down. We're live. Well, it says we're live. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome back to another exciting update on Mom and Pop. We have we have the nice new updated uh, green screen logo. The cool graphic now. I like it. It's not you know when I made that first one, it was just quick. I needed Very, a placeholder. Uh, yeah. You know. So, uh, yeah. So if you guys were, oh, you can see my see through green screen shirt. We this love part's it. green. <laughs> so, yeah. I did not plan that. All oh, right. I got the comments see. pulled up. Ready to go? Yep. All right. Cool. So, he's got the comments pulled up. Um, we'll wait till a few people get in here. But we're going to do update number three. This is probably going to be our last update, um, considering that the campaign ends in like 10 days. Yeah. Which, so. which means we're getting close to filming. So, the next updates you see will be when we're on the road getting shots. Oh, yeah. Traveling from city to city, town to town. Yeah, that's when we all leave with your money and leave yes. the country. Thank you. Yeah, and we never come back. No, because because we're running away with five thousand dollars. No, Bobby. <laughs> no, nah. I'm, so, I'm walking. I'm he's walking. Out. He's, he's out. off the project. We're actually in a video store. Yeah, look at all these cool tapes. No green screen. Kind of takes you back, doesn't it? You know. Yeah. To uh, the days of yonder. The golden times, the good old days. The good when old days. You could days. just leave old. your house and go to your local video shop. The good old days, O L E. O L E. Before apostrophe O L E. Good old, old days. Old good days. Old days. Good like, old days. Like mom and apostrophe pop. I don't think. Old and Is that end. right, though? What? Shouldn't the apostrophe be before the end? No, it's after the end. And I think it works either way. Yeah, it works. Put, I saw, put I saw a, it on a movie once. Frigate. All right, we're side. We we went off the rails yeah. here. We got right. five people here. Hello, guys. How are you? Hey, pop in the chat. Say hey. Let us know. Say hey watching. if you're here, so we know you're here. We can uh, do some updates. Yep. And if you got any questions about the documentary project, please ask. Ask away. We're gonna be talking, but we uh, we'll stop. Jared Campbell says he's very stoked. Thank you, Jared. Hey, thanks, man. Very stoked as well. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna kind of go over, kind of up to date where we're at. And uh, we are currently over goal. Our goal is 5500 We've yep. passed it, so thank you. Um, we are at... $6,248. There you go. 6240 Is it 248 6248 right? I thought we were like... $6,284. A little dyslexia there. There you go. 6284 6284 So we are $216 away from our first stretch goal. And I really would like to get there because when we hit our first stretch goal and we get to 6,500, which is like 200 bucks away, then we are going to have merchandise available. Um, so like shirts and stuff yeah. like that. And I got this really cool design we're going to do that's going to look like employee shirts. Yeah. Which is going to be cool. Get to open that merch store. Ryan Granger says this doc's going to suck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says, okay. No, it's going to be good, dude. It is. It's right. going to be dope. If you know Ryan Granger, you know he doesn't have taste. Uh, that sucks, because I like to have all five of my senses. He's missing one. Um, so anyways, yeah, merch store going to open. If we hit $6,500, we'll have t-shirts, Yep. posters to go along with those awesome CDs, cassettes, and vinyls, and VHS tapes that you've all purchased so far. That is he said, just you, kidding. His U key is stuck. There's a lot of U's in there. Some people talk like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'm pumped about that. That's 200 bucks away. And as an incentive for you guys, if you guys want to help get there, what we're going to do is during this live stream, that's probably going to go on for like 30 minutes or so, um, if you donate while we're live right now, not after we get off of here, but while we're live right now, it'll pop up on his phone. If you donate at least 10 bucks or more, you're going to get a pack from us that has promo materials. What that means is we've got a bunch of stuff that we're giving out at a couple conventions that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. We're giving everything out while we're there. There's not going to be any for sale or anything like that. We're not going to come home with any. Nope. It's all empty-handed. Giveaways. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a pack of that, that stuff. We're going to have buttons, stickers, other promo material, and we're going to send you one of everything from that promo material pack. So unless you're at that convention, you won't get it. So if you donate at least 10 bucks or more, more would be great. If you donate 10 bucks or more during this live stream right now, then your name will pop up. We'll write it down and you will get that. So there's an incentive. 
Um, some really cool stuff. Uh, the buttons are going to be really cool because if you guys remember going to the video store when they'd have like a little promo button and it would like ask me how or you know rent now available now kind of thing it's going to be a cool design like it's that a piece of flair if you will there you go like uh was it o'flanagan's <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah so there we go but uh only available while we're live so and then we'll shout you out as well so and give you props but all right so just off the top you know you know where we're at on our budget we've made our our base budget which is absolutely amazing thank you so Woo! much yep thank you guys um, so we're past a hundred percent. We're making the movie. It's official. It's not a, hopefully we can make the movie. We're 100% making the movie now. So that's great. Um, a little bit in, in Cagney, correct me if I'm wrong. We're just kind of going to go over our first road trip there. We're, or we're going to start at the beginning. Yeah. So the first thing we are going to start filming at all, we're going to be out at Southeast game exchange in South Carolina. Is it July 11th? Yep. July 10th and 11th. July 10th and 11th. We're going to be out there that weekend. We're actually going to be. They're filming, you know, interviews with people. Uh, we're going to be out handing out that promo stuff I was talking about. Um, and just really getting to know the video game side, mm -hmm. primarily, of the rental market and people's stories there. Which was huge. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, people rented games just most of they rented movies. I mean, I know I did. So, if you're in the area and you can make it out, please come out, hang out, talk to us, you know. Let's talk a bit about, about the uh, special guests that we're interviewing while we're down yes, there. Yes, we are going to be with, and I'm going to butcher his last name, and I'm just going to go for <laughs> it. That's why I didn't want to say Yeah, him. I'm just going to try. It's Ed Anu Anuziati. Ed Anuziati. I think is how you say it. Um, his claim to fame of, uh, of all the things he's did, he is the creator of Echo the Dolphin. Nice. Which is, was one of the flagship titles for the Sega Genesis. Um, I think it was bundled with the consoles at one point. Um, but he made other things like the X-Men game on Genesis, X-Men 2, the Clone Wars, uh, the Spider-Man game, or a lot of people call it Spider-Man versus the Kingpin. Okay. Um, he made that. He made Mr. Bones for Sega in, uh, CD, I think. Greenville, South Carolina, Ryan. Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, yep. South Carolina. Yep. And it's going to be a blast. It's going to be fun. Um, last the dude year, has made like tons of big games. This oh, yeah. Ed, and and, and Nuziati. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he... Uh, yeah, dude's like very well known. He owns his, he's president and CEO of another company now that really focuses on PC and mobile games. Okay. Um, that are that are really popular. So he's gonna sit down and talk with us and give his perspective being a game developer and like, you know, walking in on a, at a video store and seeing his games on the shelf and uh, you know, he still rented games. Right. So he went in there and rented games. So he's gonna talk about that. So we're gonna be talking with him in addition to multiple other well-known people, um, a lot of well-known YouTubers that you guys would know, but I just can't announce it yet, but we're going to have some very well-known YouTubers, like very well-known YouTubers, um, like Jake Paul. You heard it here first. Oh, I'm just kidding. Jake Paul's not in the in the documentary, but uh, I'll, we, we would try to fight him, right? Yeah. That's what he does now, fights people. Is it? Yeah, yeah. There's two Pauls, right? It's Jake Paul and Aaron Paul. Is it Aaron Paul? No, that's the... Oh, no, no, no. That's Jake Paul and the other head. Paul. But anyway, mm. enough about him. We're going to have some really cool YouTubers as well. Um, and then we're going to have like actual people that own video game stores that are going to be there. Um, yeah. that Or video stores that run the video games, that kind of thing. So anyway, we're starting there. That's going to be the first you know, days of filming, really. Um, after that, we come back, and we're back for about two weeks. And then I think it's the 29th of July... Uh, July 29th, we're heading out, we're packing on a up, road trip up to the northeast. Logan, I don't, I don't know, know what that means. I don't know, Bo Nichols. We you must have been talking. Logan. Hey, what's up, Bo? We must have been talking about something, and I forgot. I like yeah. slipped my mind. But um, yeah, July 29th is when we start our road trip, and man, we're all over the place. Um, so we leave from here. We're in North Carolina. Well. We're in South Carolina right now. We'll be leaving for North Carolina on the 29th. Um, going straight up. First stop, New Jersey. We're at in New Jersey. No, we're stopping at Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. Yep. So we're going to stop by Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. Fingers crossed we get Ming on camera talking about. It's not going to. He's out of town that weekend, <laughs> All unfortunately. Right, so uncross those fingers. But hopefully we get somebody there on camera. Yeah. You know, hopefully we can bring in that little shop on into the documentary well yeah. not little shop but that shop yeah. into the documentary yep so that's just a little stop on our way to 
fill in the blank because I can't announce it yet, in New York. Yeah, to fill in the blank in New York City. Yeah, to fill in the blank in New York City, the first real stop um, on our tour. Which is a super cool interview. Dream interview. Dream interview. Dream that interview. we're dreaming of, dreaming it up, trying there to make go. it happen. So. There we go. So, can't announce it just yet. Can't say the name. You guys will know on the Facebook page for Mom and Pop when we do that. So, after that, we are going to Portland, Maine. To go to Coast City Comics. Yep, and we're going to... Uh, I, I still don't, I think we've talked about this, I still don't know 100% how you say his last name, but my friend Matt Awkward, I'm just going to call him that, I'm not going to say his last name, because I don't know. Which you, I, you I pronounce it Gainey. Okay. That's how you pronounce it that's last what I, Yeah, yeah, that's how I pronounced it last week, so I'm hoping that's right. I think that's right. But it may be Gagney. It could be. I have a name that people can't don't know how to pronounce. Bobby Canopy. Name. Yeah, that's what people, everybody call it. But call it's actually right. Bobby Knipe. You, you already hear. Heard it here first. <laughs> They never knew before tonight. Yeah, but we'll be in Portland, Maine. Yep. Uh, Matt's going to show us around, show us some cool spots, and then uh, we'll do our interviews with them at Coast City Comics and get some cool perspective. Uh, yep. One of them is a former video store owner. Yeah. Uh, he employee? worked for. They both are, are former employees. Okay. Um, what's cool about Tristan, uh, who we're interviewing while we're up there, he worked. His role at the video store was very unique. He was a delivery boy for the video store. That's awesome. So he was a video rental delivery boy. Um, they had a store that actually would drive out and deliver these films to people's houses. That is so, so cool. So I didn't even know that position was Not a thing. So we're going to talk about that. Um, but anyway, we're going to have a great time with that. After that, we have a very long drive ahead of us because we are going to Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. To and it's interview. going to get weird. Real weird because we're going to be with weird Paul Petrosky. Weird Paul. I can't wait because he's got a documentary on Amazon. If you haven't seen it, I know we both have. It's awesome. Yeah. It's really cool. Watch we'll work it. for views on Amazon Prime. It's a great documentary. You really get to know him. Um, and I mean, I got a really huge respect for this guy that's just yeah. stuck to what he's always loved and wanted to do for a long time. So that's going to be tight. Uh, we're going to be with Weird Paul. Can't wait to see what kind of like video store stuff he has because he's got yeah, oh, video yeah. store stuff. Oh, he's got all that retro. Oh, he's got stuff, retro man. video store wait. stuff, uh, membership cards, stuff like that. Uh, we've got to get as much of that as we can because I'm trying yeah. to hear him sing a few songs for us. Maybe oh, maybe we get that little maybe. VIP weird Paul set. <laughs> um, just for people that are tuning in now, at the beginning of the thing, what we said is if you donate to the Indiegogo, um, we've got ten days left. If you donate while we're live, right now then you will get a pack of uh, promo materials from us, like buttons, stickers, little membership cards, stuff like that. The promo stuff that we're taking to in conventions. The in the mail, yep. The stuff that we're giving away to conventions and stuff like that, we're going to send you a pack of it. So only for people that donate at least $10 to the Indiegogo Ten. while we're live. Only $10. Um, I guess your name in the credits, too. There you go. Help us out, please. We're trying to hit that stretch goal. Yep. All right. Anyway, after we leave Pittsburgh, where are we going after Pittsburgh? Is it? Pretty sure we are heading to Illinois. No, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Yes. All right. Dayton, Ohio, to uh, Henrik Kuto, the director and uh, all-around super cool guy. I uh, did one of my favorite movies from Camp Motion Pictures. They put it out, like Scare Waves, which is like a horror anthology. Really cool. But anyway, super, super cool, awesome dude. Um, we're going to go sit with him and talk to him. He's also going to have his buddy over who was a film distributor uh, for the, I say film, video distributor. Um, he's going to tell us what it was like going to these mom and pops and striking up these deals to distribute these films yeah. for rental. Um, so that's going to be awesome. Pump for that. Plus, Henrik is going to take us around and show us some old rental places. All right. Oh, yeah. Maybe some some travel shots in the car, you know. We'll There's going to be some good stuff. Exploring the Dayton, Ohio area. I've never been to Dayton, Ohio. I've never been to Ohio, period, player. I think I went to Ohio one time for work, but it wasn't Dayton. And I was barely there, yeah. I think. Um, I don't know. But after Is that... Is that where Drew Carey's from? Is he from no, there? No, it's Wisconsin. I think. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. After um, that, we're heading into Indiana. Indiana. Chris Garcia. Um, a lot of you guys, if you guys are especially in the community of like VHS or horror collectors kind of stuff, uh, you probably know Chris Garcia. Chris Garcia has completely built this awesome video store in his basement. Um, 
you know, he's a connoisseur of video store culture and VHS and rentals. So we're going to go check it out. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk to him about his experiences, why he loves video stores and video mm. rentals so much that he literally transformed his basement into one. You know, so and super cool. Yeah, so we're going to talk to him. He's got a buddy that uh, he's known since he was a kid that owned video stores that he went to when he was a kid. That guy is coming over. We're going to talk to him about his video stores that he oh. ran um, and the influence that his video stores had on Chris in turn turning the video store into a, or the basement into a video store. So it's going to be pretty nuts. That's going to be great. Um, after that, I think we're going to Kentucky. Yes, sir. Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah, we're going to Lexington, Kentucky to interview a legend, in my opinion. For sure. Shot you on video have to legend. say in your opinion. It's a, it's a fact. Yeah. Shot on video legend, Tim Ritter, uh, made some amazing movies, especially if you're into VHS or low-budget horror. Um, my personal favorite being Killing Spree. Mm -hmm. I love Killing Spree. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go get with him. We're going to talk with him. He's going to talk about his days of when he was doing these shot on video movies and uh, distributing them for himself, going up and down the coast, the East Coast, you know, taking them to video stores and saying, hey, will you please put my movie out and selling them, you know, himself out right. of his car. So, super cool guy, has a ton of knowledge of, of these things, you know, and uh, that's going to be great. After that, that's when we'll make our way back to the house, and I think that'll be eight days we're out. Yeah, that'll be eight day trip right there, and then we'll rest for ten days. <laughs> hardly ten days. It's exactly ten days. It is okay. Ten yeah. days. <laughs> it's gonna go by quick. Then we'll be yeah. out to L.A. Yep, because Los we, Angeles. We come back on August sixth. We leave on August sixteenth. Whoa, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Yep. Then we go to L.A. Um, fill in the blank. Is the one amazing spot mm -hmm. that we will be announcing soon. But then we've got Adam Protectstore, uh, who you probably already know him. But uh, if you don't know him, then you know his wife. Because if you watch Shudder, then you watched Joe Bob. And if you watch Joe Bob, then you watched the movie Scare Waves. Or not Scare Waves. Scare Package. Were, I was thinking about you, Henrik you Kuto. In there. Yeah. Scare Package. His wife's in Scare Package. The best scene, or the best story in my part, was the goo scene. The, the dude melting? Yeah. yeah His yeah. wife is the, awesome. is the lady in that skit. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So cool. we're going to be talking to her, but we're talking to Adam as well, who him and his wife do a podcast out there about video stores and renting video stores. What? Or renting tapes. What so, are the odds? Yep. Adam also is a writer and director. Mm -hmm. He's a rapper. Fingers crossed we get to see a show while we're out there. If not, I think he said he'd take us to a karaoke bar. So karaoke bar in L.A. with a, with some with some camera. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm <laughs> some camera action happening. Um, so that's gonna be great. And last but not least, we got Brad Sykes, also an executive producer on this film. Yes. Might I add? Um, behind tons of movies, literally had to get this guy in because when I was a kid, I used to go to video stores all the time. When I, I said when I turned 16, I was going to get a job at a video store. Mm -hmm. So I, at 16, I applied. I got a job at Hollywood Video. Not a mom and pop store, but a video store. Yeah. Um, used to rent it. tapes there all the time for free because I worked there. Discount. But, exactly. So one of the tapes that I rented a million times was a movie called Zombie Chronicles. Um, I remember taking it, renting it, and it was low budget, and I dug it. And I remember looking at the back of the box, and it said, directed by Brad Sykes. And I was like, wow. I've got to go out and I've got to see what other movies he made. So mm -hmm. that that led me to Camp Blood and you know other movies that he he directed and wrote and stuff. And I, I followed that, you know, uh, Goth and stuff like that. And it led me into other uh, brain damage titles and low budget shot on video, all that stuff. Um, so I thought when I made this documentary or I'm making this documentary, I got to talk to Brad Sites because that's a video store memory for me. So Brad is helping us out with the with like the knowledge and behind the scenes stuff here. Um, he's an executive producer of the film, and uh, he's going to be interviewed in the film as well. So yeah. it's pretty cool. In L.A. In L.A. It's going to be awesome. Los Angeles. And the city we... of angels where Lucifer <laughs> lives. Whoa. Uh, he does. If you're watching Lucifer on Netflix. I thought it was on Hulu. It's on Netflix now. Netflix <laughs> bought it. <laughs> uh, that was just a joke. Oh, uh, I've never seen it. It's not bad. So when we get back from L.A., 
We'll have a little bit of rest. Then we're going to start hitting these North Carolina and Georgia units. And Tennessee. And Tennessee. And then yep. we'll be traveling to interview everybody that's donated $100 to be in the documentary as well. That is correct. So lots of traveling to be had. So we're here. Don't forget. Trying to raise some money. September. September. We, Mad Monster Party Expo. So they announced, uh, what, a week or so ago, Mad Party, mm -hmm. Mad Monster Party is doing a second show. Usually they only do the one, and it's earlier in the year. They do one in Charlotte, one in Arizona. There you go. Yep. So they're doing another one in North Carolina this year, and it's going to be in September. Um, as soon as I found out about that, I reached out. We are going to be filming all weekend. We have got permission to film. Yep. We're wow. the only ones filming there. Press passes. Yep. So we will be on location. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. At Mad Monster. At Mad Monster. Out. We'll be at the RIP party on Saturday night yep. if you're there. Um, yeah, we want to talk to you guys. And I figured, especially when, when it comes to horror and action and sci-fi, there's going to be a lot of people there that, that rented. What? Just had an idea. What? Let's just have our little area make a sign that says be in a movie. Or be in a documentary. And people will and flock. People will just come. We'll have our five, own put a, Get a fishbowl and say, pay five bucks, you can be in a movie. Yeah, we'll do something like that. I'm just that. kidding. I ain't going to charge. figure it out. But yeah, we can get it. He might. No, not me. <laughs> but we'll be giving away free stuff there, yeah. too. Like buttons and cool, you know, little, I'm not going to say merch, like full-size t-shirts and hoodies and hats, but like, you know, cool little things yeah. that you're only going to be able to get there. Unless you donate some promo packs. $10 or more while we're live right now, then you'll get that, too. You get a promo pack sent to your house. Promo. We'll check that. Promo. Has there been promo. in... He donates. Nope, nobody has donated yet during the live stream. You got about five more minutes. And then uh, you'll get a free promo back with your donation. You're going to really miss out. Really <laughs> Don't miss, miss out, out on that. Yeah. But, but we'll um, be at Mad Monster. Be uh, hopefully collecting a few celebrity interviews as well. Yep, yep, but yep. If, if not, we'll just be there covering the fan base, getting uh, some more of those audience interactions and interviews. Yep. So we've got everything planned out. Um very well, actually. Like we were just talking earlier, and like we're pretty much done at this point for the planning stage. We're just ready to go film. Yeah, ready to go shoot. Pre pro is a go. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Do you guys have any questions about myself, Cagney, the project, um, anything? Because you know we'll be on here and we'll answer whatever questions you guys got as well. Um, any suggestions you guys have? Of course, we're always open to suggestions. Uh, anything. You got anything you want to say? Um, I'm just really excited <laughs> to be working on this project. Uh, blown away at all the support we've received online. It's awesome. Yeah. People far and wide have heard about this project now, and it's all thanks to you guys for pushing it, sharing it, donating it. And it just feels really cool to be a part of it and be bringing it to life. You know, I'm so it's excited awesome. to... Go ahead and shove a camera in some people's faces and get some nice footage, put it together, and deliver you guys an awesome documentary. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, I think a lot of people, and, and I've had people reach out to me and say, you know, they're really excited to hear, like, people's stories. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. <clears throat> but what's really cool is it's not just going to be that. Yeah, you're going to get the nostalgia side. You're going to get the stories. But you're going to get like things that you don't see in other documentaries. You're going to be able to hear from the the owners of these locations. Why did they do it? Um, you're going to see us visit these old locations and see where they're at. You know, like this documentary is not going to be like your hour and 20 minute long movie where people just sit around and talk about, you know, nostalgia. I mean, we're going to have that, but this thing's going to be packed full of like really cool stuff like when you see in a documentary, they're like, oh, I remember walking down the aisles, blah, blah, blah. Cool. You're going to see that perspective. Then you're going to see the guy that put those movies on that aisle. And you're going to see the distributor that talked to that guy that put those movies on that aisle. Like, you're going to see almost a 360 of everything that was involved to get that film on that shelf. Yep. And into your house. The whole your VCR. perspective. Yep. Every <coughs> single corner. It's going to be cool. And then we're going to see video stores. Because I know a lot of you guys probably drive by locations. Mm -hmm. And you go, oh, I remember that used to be a video store right there. Well, you know what? Like, you're not alone because I do that all the time. Yeah. You know, and and I would beg to say that like it's not just me, it's not just you, it's not just him. Like, everybody has these cool stories, and that's where this documentary is really going to bond everybody together, sharing these things that like we didn't know each other growing up, but it's like amazing the stories mm -hmm. and the similarity of the stories that and memories that we all shared. We're essentially also going on a video store tour. 
Yeah. We were touring video stores. You know, every yeah. city we're in, we're going to probably try to hope to see at least one current. I think we multiple can. Multiple. I think we can. Operating rental stores. Yeah. You know, so. And what what's really cool is if video you haven't already. One of the perks that we have is to get a DVD. I've told this to you know million, millions of times, not millions, many times, millions. not millions, many times, that after this is over, it's going to go in film festivals and it might get picked up for distribution. Mm-hmm. What that means is whoever gets that perk as a DVD gets a copy of the DVD that we make. Nobody, we can't, we're not making more. You know that then yeah. we're pending a distribution on when it gets put out. So Somebody on these else DVD, will put the DVD out exactly, and it might have the same stuff. It might not have it. Mm-hmm. What we plan on putting on, we're putting tons of behind the scenes information, you know, scenes, stuff that we can't get in. Um, say we interview some people you really wanted to see, but we couldn't get them into the movie. You're still going to see them, but it's going to be in the like cut scenes, deleted scenes, stuff that's on the DVD. Now, if we get a, dis- a distribution deal and they decide they don't want to use that, that DVD was the only way you could have got that footage. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I. I know you like to collect DVDs and stuff. Oh, I yeah. like to collect DVDs. You Physical like to media have, is the best. Yeah. So I strongly urge if you have any kind of urge to see this movie that you at least donate to get that DVD. Because if you want the complete thing, you know, maybe maybe somebody will distribute it and do like a full complete thing, but right. we don't know. If you want to be guaranteed that you get the full complete product, you're going to want to at least grab that DVD. For sure. Yeah. And like I said, there's 10 days left. Um, 10 days left. Yeah. Almost nine. It's it's going to be cool. Oh, we have received a, a donation during the stream. Let's take a look uh, at I it. I can't look at it. you got to look at it. I'll take a look. All right. Talk to them. Talk to the people. All right, guys. That means whoever just donated received an awesome promo pack from the film filled with swag and goodies and stuff and things and things and stuff. It's going to be tight. And what's cool about that... Who are we looking at? With the DVD, if you were to get a DVD... We gotta film the movie, make the movie, then put it on DVD, and then we'll send it to you. This promo pack, you don't have to wait. As soon as we get the stuff, which will be within like a month, you're gonna go ahead and get it. You can go ahead and yep. start repping. It'll be in the mail. Yep. All right. We have my sister, Brianna. Thank <laughs> she you. She just donated twenty five bucks. And nice. No perk needed. Anybody else? That is it. Cool. So far. So well, nice. Thank you. We're going to have to make sure we treat her a little better than you said by putting her in the background of a documentary. So she wants to. She wants to be in the background. She wants to be in the background. We'll make it really funny. She wants to eat a pop We'll make it worth your time. In the background. Don't worry. <laughs> so that puts us at $6,309. That means nice. we're only $191 away. From t-shirts and from posters. From t-shirts and posters. And I have God, I have a really cool idea for, uh, for some merch that I want to get. It's going to be pretty tight. Hell yeah. Like, so... We love sweet merch. You got 10 days. All right. So what you've got, 10 bucks, you can get a special thanks in the credits because you, you deserve it. Everybody gets a shout out on the Facebook page. For 13 bucks, you can get a limited pink audio cassette. Hobo Wolfman Records is putting this out. There's only 20 of them being made ever. And it's going to be pink translucent. It's going to be That's awesome. cool. You get to yeah. see through the tape. There's only 17 of those left. Ever. Get them. Um, you can get a soundtrack compilation CD if you want for twenty bucks. That ain't twenty bucks. DVD release of the film twenty five dollars. You pay twenty five bucks. That includes shipping. You get the the one we put out. So like the one that has all the love and the care and the extra scenes <laughs> and all this stuff. Um, and si- if if this movie comes out, what's that? Your sister said uh, she's got her pop tart ready. And nice. then Justin McDaniel says he's grabbing a DVD. So heck yeah, thank you, homie. Justin. Thank you, man. Um, thank you, buddy. So, definitely grab a DVD. I, I can't say enough. Um, then we've got the limited hot pink, neon pink vinyl soundtrack, also from Hobo Wolfman Records. There's only 15 of those left, man. 15 left. Moving like hot ever. People love vinyls. 30 bucks gets you that. 100 bucks. We've had eight people claim this. 100 bucks gets you in the documentary. If you think, if you think, Hey, I've got some stories. I got some amazing memories. I need to contribute to this documentary. I want to be in this. You'll get an IMDb credit, by the way, too. If you just want an IMDb credit, mm-hmm. come be in the movie. You get an IMDb credit. 100 bucks gets you that. Get in. Uh, producer credit for the film. We've had two claimed 500 bucks. Which is awesome. Yeah, that was tight. We've, we've got two producers. So, I mean, and if you just say... If you just want to donate a dollar, dude, that is awesome. 
to me, donating a dollar and donating ten, honestly, I'm just as happy. Yeah. For both, because I can't say enough. Like, just people supporting me, supporting Cagney, supporting this whole thing. Like, you guys have just blown it up, and like, I can't say enough. And as more first and foremost, yeah, people are just supporting the cause itself. You know, it's something that people oh, can yeah. rally behind and really relate to, which is awesome. We're making some magic. Yeah, it, it's pretty amazing. Like, I, I'm really happy about it. Um, if you guys know me, uh, you know I'll Joe push. Baroni says, "Will the VHS have all the goodies on it as well?" So probably not. Um, what the VHS is going to have, it's going to have the custom artwork and a custom clamshell and everything uh, provided limited by Limited Edition, Lunch. numbered. Yep. yep, limited numbered edition. We'll sign it, and uh, it's going to be put out by Lunch Meat. What it's going to have is just based on the size of the tape, it's not going to be able to fit all the deleted scenes and stuff. Um, it's going to have the you know the full basic movie on it um, but you're gonna have that that and artwork that's not on the dvd yeah and so. we make it do a, a separate export as well with for something during the credits for the vhs version you know there's like the the blooper reel is only on yeah, the yeah maybe something special the VHS or something version, like you know? that yeah so still to be determined but you will of course be getting the full ass film on yep. vhs with custom artwork limited edition of 30 pretty nice i mean i don't want to compare it but the last blockbuster Lunch Meat put out their VHS, and I mean, I think that thing's reselling for like three hundred dollars now. Wow! Yeah, it's like two fifty, three hundred. Did we get a copy of the VHS? I didn't know. We, we don't. Didn't, we didn't buy one. We no, don't get it. We, didn't, we don't even get a copy uh, of the VHS. So, extremely limited. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we don't even have a copy. Uh, Hadley says she's going to tell everyone her uncle Bobby is famous. Oh, yep, famous. Uncle Bobby's getting famous. What else we got? Make That's sure y'all do... It. Oh, yeah. We're going to be doing live videos the whole time. Mm -hmm. The whole time. Um, we were talking about that before. While we're driving around, like, we're going to pop in. We're going to be popping in. While he's setting lights up and stuff, I'm going to be over here probably bugging him, being like, hey, man, we're live. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. We're going to be driving down the road, popping in. You guys... I hate to say this, but you guys are probably going to be annoyed at how much we go live. How, how awesome and yeah. all over the place we are. Yeah, because we do want to bring you guys into that, you know? Um, and I think it would be a great thing. And honestly, we have 10-hour car rides. We need some entertainment, too. We need, to, <laughs> yeah. we need you guys to talk to us and get us through, you know? Yeah, and, and I think it'll, it'll help, too, because if we're in your area and we're set up and you're like, hey, you're right down the road from me. Cool. Come on down the Come road. Come on out. Come out. Be a take part us, of this thing. Take us to a video store, you know? Yeah. Or bring us a beer. There you go. He's driving, not him. Me, bring me one. Bring Bobby a beer. <laughs> but, um, I mean, yeah, we're going to be doing cool stuff. We're going to be in Maine for the night hanging out with Matt and Tristan. If you guys are near Maine, come out. You know, we'll be shouting out where we're at. We want to meet mm. all of you guys and see Portland, all of Maine. You guys. Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine. That's I've never all the been. city. So we're New York City, Portland, Maine. Mm hmm. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dayton, Ohio, the city in Indiana, Hammond, Hammond, Indiana, yeah, and Kentucky. Kentucky, Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, and so, then we're back, and then we're in if LA. You're in any of those states, any of those cities, LA, Hollywood. Oh, shout out! Get we were talking about this earlier. If you're from LA, we would love to like let you show us around because we know nothing yeah he, he <laughs> oh he went to san francisco right yeah no that's way upstate yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's six hours away see me i think san francisco's in la that's how much i know about la no, i don't we're gonna know. be near uh long beach and stuff man. yeah we're yeah. gonna be around Venice. hollywood north hollywood yeah. area um we don't mind driving a little bit we'll have a rental car um if there's a really cool place we need to check out it's fine um if you're Corey feldman and you're having a party at your house <laughs> let us uh, know Joe Baroni, if you're in Northeast Ohio, can show you my old store and get you some Ohio beers. We are going to be near... Where was Dayton, it? Ohio. How close is Dayton to you? Wherever Dayton is. Because we will, we will be in Dayton. And I'd love to see the old store, man. That, that's exactly the kind of stuff we're into. Yeah. Um, would love to. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah we've got uh, that night in Ohio that we can explore. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Do some nighttime exploring in Ohio before we hit the road to Hammond, Indiana. Hammond. Hammond. That's what Dr. Hammond. That's from Jurassic Park, ain't it? Yep. I was playing Jurassic Park Evolution. It's on Game Pass. Nice. It's pretty fun. It's like <laughs> SimCity for Jurassic, okay. for Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can get down with that. Yeah. I can get down with some Jurassic Park Sims. Yeah. But hopefully you guys can get down with some more donations and yep. get us up to $6,500. 
so we can get some t-shirts and some posters and some yeah more we've got these designs ready to release like they if you guys got us to 6500 today today then that that store would be up tonight with that merch and you can be like Dude, I want to do something crazy. Like, and I'm bringing this up crazy. right now. He doesn't even know this, so I'm, I'm unleashing this on him right now. I want to do some kind of campaign where we release this merch, stickers, whatever. And if somebody either wears a shirt or sticks a sticker somewhere and takes a picture of it, we'll like do something. I want to do something. You like know, what? I don't know, like something. What can we do? <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's a cool thing. Like we'll, I want people we'll constantly to constantly shout you out on the internet. Give, I will give do you that. Special, special things in the credits. Like, oh, we'll include all the photos at the end during the credits. Yeah, the promo. Yeah, we'll have a. We'll, we'll like throw. That. We'll use it. You know, social media. We'll be sharing it on social oh, media yeah. as well. So yeah, when I, when I release this merch, please. Snag. Uh, oh, Justin McDaniel said, "Check it out." Should only be one dollar away from me getting merch. We're Whoa! one dollar away. Okay. Justin McDaniel is the MVP, dog. Somebody donate a dollar. Get at Justin McDaniel. <laughs> that's that dude. Heck Bro, yeah, that's that man. Cause we about to have some merch. Yo, I'm friends with this guy on Facebook. I'm pretty sure. You that's cool, be. man. That's that's cool, man. You're the. That's awesome. We're about to have. Friggin' t-shirts and posters. Yeah, and that what? stuff, I'm telling you. I it's not gonna be these like so what we're doing is we're doing print to print to order stuff. You're getting a free promo easier. pack too, by the way, dude. Oh yeah, he's like definitely a, gonna get one. A stacked promo pack for sure. <laughs> Woo! That's yeah, awesome. That's so. great. So somebody donate a dollar, please, so I can go home. <laughs> Brianna! <laughs> you got a dollar left in your Throw bank account? a dollar on there. <laughs> Or Hadley, get it from from the kid. Kid, go look in the couch cushions. There's got to be change. <laughs> uh, Joe Baroni said he's a bit closer to Cleveland. I'll get it you guys later about it though. I'll donate a dollar. Shout out Joe Baroni. Look at that, Joe Baroni donating that dollar. Joe Baroni, I should have brought my soundboard. Yeah. yeah, and Joe definitely hit me up, shoot me a message later or something. Yeah. Let's try to figure it out because I would really like to see your store, man. And get a Cleveland beer. Wait, was it Ohio beer or Cleveland beer? He just said Ohio beer. He's closer beer. to Cleveland. All right, so, yeah. It'll I would probably really be a like Cleveland that. beer. Joe Baroni said, on it. Justin McDaniel said, love you guys. Good luck. Much love. Justin McDaniel. My kid does that all the time to me. My heart don't. I was doing that. <laughs> I got heart. I got heart problems if it looks like that. <laughs> But, uh, okay, still need that dollar. I think it's coming in. I think Joe Baroni is the man that's on that dollar. Well, he's probably got to, like, put in his information, you know? Yeah. So that's that's awesome. Make sure you check out the Mom and Pop Indie Video Store Facebook page. If you haven't already, click that like button. We broke 700 likes. Yeah, dude, we're like 790 yeah. like or something like that. It's insane. It's, it's wild up there. Um, didn't know until he shouted out, and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah we are. So, if you haven't already, please go like that. And I guess here soon, we're going to have merch up tonight. Get you a t-shirt. It's going to be tight. We're going to have some good designs. Get you a shirt. Get you what? I mean, I'm going to pop up some wild stuff. So, anyway, we're going to do print to order. Uh, just just And a easier. free download of Ooh. the theme song there coming you go. up. Uh, oh, my God. Your sister said check again. Who, who are these people? Hit us with these money. My sister. <laughs> she ain't, ain't come back yet. 6509. We got, we're oh, going to have merch. Nice. She threw another 10. I haven't got it on my end yet. Nice. But it's coming in. Thank you. We hit it. Now everybody gets a free download. Yep. I'll make the theme song. that up. Uh, we Looks got like a I got merch some store. Today, we got right? a busy night ahead of us, man. I got a podcast. Oh, shout out. If you go to YouTube, uh, search for Michelle Halloween. She has a. Like a channel on there mm -hmm. where she talks to different people in the genre and Halloween and stuff like that. Um, she recently had the guy who played Art the Clown from Terrifier on there. I'm a big fan of Terrifier. I'm, I really love Terrifier. And, and I don't know if he does, but I do. I I'm like going to give it a rewatch and see okay. if I like it. I like All Hallows Eve. I, I like All Hallows Eve better than Terrifier. I, I love anthologies. So. Well, All Hallows Eve is an anthology. I know, so. that's what I'm saying. I yeah. love anthologies. It's got an, a, an alien story. Yeah. So, I mean... So anyway, I'm a big fan, so when I seen she had him on, I was like, that's cool. So anyway, I'm going to be on with her tonight, 
Um, at 10 o'clock my time, her time is like 7 when she's on the West Coast. So anyway, it'll probably be a little bit because it takes a few days for her to put it up. It's not live. That'll be up. But I'm doing that tonight. Um, I got a podcast coming up on Thursday with someone from the UK who actually owns a video store. Good buddy of mine, Sean, out there. So uh, definitely be on the lookout so for So we're going to be getting too. some overseas Overseas audience. exposure. Yeah, overseas exposure. Can't wait on that. I I'm just wait. about to share on Facebook that... We have hit our first stretch goal. Yeah, and now I get to bug you guys every day for the next 10 days to hit our next stretch goal because you get pogs and slammers. Freaking pogs and slammers, dude. Freaking pogs and slammers. That's all. <laughs> so we're going to have the tubes as well? Like a tube for the pogs? Oh, I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know about that, man. Like I have to see some, how much it is. Tubes. So a little, I'll tell you too, this is kind of me telling him at the same time. Uh, the pogs, what's cool is they're in a sheet unpunched with our artwork and everything you could leave them nice. in the sheet okay, and display awesome. them if you wanted to um, but they're on this really cool promo sheet and there's like the cool artwork and everything all over the sheet um so it's it's really cool it's that next collector sheet of bugs so that'll be tight but i'm i'm stoked i'm not gonna bug people about the next stretch go oh there's another 65 19 okay no 10 came in who did it i bet you it was baroni baroni my Baroni has a first name. It's ten dollar donates. There you go. There you go. <laughs> My Baroni has a first name. It's Joe. There it is. J O E. That uh, was Baroni. Your sister. Yeah. Your sister said uh, she remembers taking your pogs when you weren't home when when she was little. So, pogs uh, are. That's some deep cut info. It's right due there. to come back. Yeah. Pogs need to come back. Joe, thank you, man, for that ten dollar donation. Really appreciate it. Really, we're two away from having a hundred backers. We're at ninety-eight That's amazing. backers. That's yeah. amazing, and almost one hundred individual people have contributed to this project. That's wild. That's wild. Wow. I'm pumped, and and several of those backers, like my sister, for example, have multiple donations. So I can't. I can't She's done awesome. That. But well, yeah. that's that still counts. Oh, this, so that's not that's just how many times it's been back. No, no, no. that's individual backers, okay. but it's not how many times it's been backed. Okay, so right that's on. just actual ninety eight yeah, individual, people. individual people. Yeah. Awesome, that was Joe Baroni. Thank you, Joe. We really appreciate that, man. Tight, man. Thank that's you. That's awesome. You're gonna be seeing uh, Bobby do some work tonight. T shirts, posters, all that cool yeah. stuff. I'm gonna be up free a download lot for the song. Put it on your phone. Listen to it while you're in the car. It's friggin' catchy. It, it is really catchy. is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to say it here. I'm going to make both the tracks that are exclusive downloadable tonight. Nice. Both that Creature is... Preacher tracks are going to be, because you got a little bit of each one. You know, you got like the Surf Queens of the Stone Age one and the, and the one, the new one that we we released. And then you've got a little bit of the that Surf Rock surf twang, Rockabilly, rockabilly theme song. Yeah. So download them both. I'll make them available and you can take them. Somebody just donated a dollar. <laughs> nice. Oh, that dollar finally came through. Heck yeah. Let's see. I want to see who donated a dollar because I love it. But yeah, looks like I'm going to have some... we, we love you guys. We love all of you. Thank you so much for supporting us. And yeah, just it's being really here with nice. us while we do this. Who knows where the hell we're going to be five Tim months, Lohman. eight months from now, whenever this thing actually uh, takes off yep. and we're done with it and it's distributed... You I guys are on the ground floor. You might know us before we we're on some huge crazy Letterman. project or yeah, Letterman. <laughs> uh, you said Tim Loman. I'm not yep. not sure of the name. So oh, I thank know you, Tim. Tim. Oh, I know thank Tim you, Tim. Loman. Tim Loman's great. Thank you, Tim. You're the man. Uh, Justin Joe McDaniel. said you guys rock. Justin McDaniel said you easy rock, now. man. Easy now. I'm not sure what he was referring to. I don't know. We talk so much. Could be anything. We're fast pace here. You we must, uh, cause we're stuff, just stoked. You guys, thank you maybe. guys. For everything, yeah. I mean, I got. I guess I gotta get off of here. Yeah, you wanna call I gotta it drive thing? home and get. Yeah, it's been awesome. You guys are awesome. Fist bump to you guys. Fist bump to you guys. Keep supporting us. Yep. Share, share this video around. Share the video. Share the, share the page. campaign. Everything. Share it all. Yeah. Tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell anybody you see I that we're yeah. making a documentary and it's gonna be legendary. Because here's the thing: this transcends age barriers. People our age rented from it. Mm -hmm. People your mom's age rented from it. Yep. People your mom's mom's age owned it. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we want to talk to them too. Yep. 
See if but, we got uh, any last minute comments here. Yeah, just check for the comments one more time. Make sure we're good. Thank you again, Justin McDaniel. You're the man. Thank you again. Yeah. To, uh, Thank all you. To Brianna and Joe Baroni and Tim Loman. Thank you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for everybody that popped in. Appreciate you. See you guys uh, next time. Next time.